Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a couple of compilations to show you and we have some new products as well. And these were all sent to me by the good people at paintsomeway.com. So yeah, huge thank you to them. Um, these are ones that I received before Christmas and I thought you might like to see them. Uh, right then, let me have a look and see. So this one actually, this Cardinal, I got in July last year. So I was planning Christmas uh, from July last year albeit i was doing some christmas in july products i think as well so quite possibly that's why i got this um i suppose you oh i've got an extra gem there look let me just take that one off <laughs> i suppose you could have this one up all, all year round um it has got like holly leaves on it and it is a cardinal but it doesn't necessarily scream christmas well it doesn't to me anyway and uh, yeah i just oh, the colors on it are so vibrant and these uh, semispheres in the red there are just so sparkly. And then all these marquees on the Cardinal's wing there. Really, really pretty. He was supposed to have um, the black AB, which is the one with this iridescent blue coating on it, for his legs and for his face. But I did think I don't really want that mainly because there's already a lot of the AB on it but I just thought it wouldn't quite sit right so I've just taken some of my spare black 310 gems and done the legs there in the black and just the little part of his face in the black as well and I think that's worked out a little bit better than doing it in like this blue colour uh, maybe they might have looked okay in the green but I think he is a, a black face so to do him with like a blue or a greeny face uh, yeah wouldn't have been quite right but other than that it's uh, just as it is and it is stunning uh, it is one that I was hoping to get done before Christmas. Um, it, it was on my pal to do and unfortunately it didn't get done. So I've completed it now and it's part of Smashing the Special 7 with Mindy and Brandy. So yeah, go and check out their uh, YouTube channels for their event. But uh, yeah, this is the one I will be putting onto the Facebook group, Diamond Moments and Crafts. Uh, they have a special uh, section there that you can go and put your completions on to take part. So this will be going on there shortly. This looks a bit like a heart, doesn't it? Now I'm looking at it, this is a little bit like a heart shape behind him. The uh, stained glass window bit. But I love the colours and I will be cutting this one out and it will be made into like a plate rather than going in a square frame. Um, I do prefer anything that's a good shape. I do like to cut them out and just make them a little bit different. And uh, yeah, he's just come out really, really well. Plenty of gems left over and we have got the lovely little codes there, all the gem codes. So we'll be able to get it out properly. So yeah, I've got it all in numbered bags ready for kitting down. So that will happen in a future video. I'm going to do a few at a time, uh, but I'm not going to leave it so that I've got loads. Try not to anyway. <laughs> but yeah, look how sparkly. I can't stop looking at it because it's just so sparkly. Yay! And he was actually $4.99, which I think works out to about £3.90-ish in uh, British pounds so yeah really good price as well but yeah enjoyed doing that one just I love it when you do specials and you see it all coming together and then you stand back and you look and you notice different things once it's completed so yeah but that is just so sparkly and pretty okay and then this I mean you just know I'm gonna love this it's a mole cow and uh, yeah, it's a hanger, it's an acrylic hanger. I have got the little chain in here. Um, no um, gem codes on this one, so this will just be a generic fitting down, sadly, but it's still very, very pretty. I know we've definitely got some of these pale pink uh, without any facets on. I think we did some of those the other day when I did a kitting down. But his colours and everything, his little colours are a little bit like a giraffe, aren't they? It's a little bit giraffe coloured. <laughs> But yeah, he's just so pretty with his flowers in his hair or hair flowers in her hair. And uh, yeah, the shading just looks so pretty with the uh, orange and the lemon and everything there. Just a little bit of grey for shading on the little tummy or the little chest bit there. 
and then the little pink nose oh and those big sad eyes i always think cows have got big sad eyes yeah so really pleased with that one and that one is in my november playlist so if you check out paint some ways playlist uh say so this one is november and that one is july if you want to see the full unboxing and the full look at everything okay so let's pop these on one side and we'll have a look at the new things uh, again plenty of gems left over and that's the little chain to go through the thing I will need to seal the little uh, moo cow though first before uh, I put his chain on and hang him up. So there are lots of special offers. If you go out and check out Paint Somewhere at the moment, there's some fantastic special offers actually. Uh, if you spend over $30, you get a free blind box and there is 23% off. Wow. But And then there is another banner that is showing um, if you buy one item, there's 8% off. If you buy five items, there's 15% off. 10 items, there's 20% off. And 25 items, I've not got enough fingers. Uh, <laughs> it's 23% off. So some really, really good deals if you go and check those out. And there is free shipping over $49 as well. So obviously, that's as I've made making the video today. I've had a look on the website before I've come to make the video just to see what's special and what's going on so I can let you know. Um, but obviously, if you're watching this in a couple of months' time, uh, the offers may have changed, but it's always worth checking out and seeing what applies to your country as well. Anyway, let's get into these and have a look and see what we got. So we have a diamond painting. Ooh, flowers, I tell you what. I must be getting old because I'm definitely getting quite a few flowers these days. <laughs> oh, we've got a mystery package and ta-da we have some baggies yay why have you bought baggies i can hear you crying at me well i just thought um i'm getting sick of those ones with the little red thing across that are really really thin that i can't open um and i have my special ones that i use my storage my gem storage and i just and then when i was looking on paint some ways um tools and bits and pieces i saw that they had some grip seal bags and i thought i wonder what quality they're like and i wonder what they're like and i did notice as well that they do have a little space for writing on so if you're wanting to store your special special if you're wanting to store your special gems your special shapes and you don't want to buy stickers to put on them these have got a little white space for actually writing. And these are really good for writing on. So you've got the white space. If you look for the one, I'm looking at it upside down, look thinking, oh, it's shiny, but no, it's not. You get it's a little bit dull and it is a lot easier to write. I would think ballpoint pens would probably write best on this dry faster and everything. But yes, I thought these might be just tight handy. And actually, they are quite a nice thick little bag. I'm quite impressed with these. They were a good price as well. Uh, I've got a hundred of them for two pounds and nine pence. So I thought, yeah, with the little white strip on. I've not used the ones with the white strips on before. So I thought these would be quite good. But yeah, a hundred. And say so they do seem to be a nice thick quality. They're certainly not any that are going to uh, need to be torn or cut open to get into them and they've got a good snap on them as well your little grip seal bags and then they do as i say just open up and yeah so i just thought it's always worth checking out the tools and the extra little bits and pieces that they've got just to see what else there is so there's not really a huge amount i can say about little grip seal bags um but let's give them a quick measure if i'm a tape measure that would help <laughs> Sure, they are uh, ooh, about two, between two and three quarters and three inches, which is about seven and a half ish centimeters by five centimeters, two inches. So they're a nice, they're more or less a two inch by three inch bag. So they're a good size. Let me just get one of my little storage boxes. So this is my spares storage and let me just see how they compare to these they're a little bit smaller so they're not as tall 
as these so if you were using them for your storage you would need to uh, put like your dividers a little bit lower down but there is nothing to stop you having these in your box uh, and I would think yeah you see these are the ones that I use now are 10 centimeters four inches so but I would say quality wise that that top feels more or less the same as that and they are quite a nice stand-up one as well they do feel a really good thickness so i'm pleased i got those uh, i'm not going to go on about them for ages because i just think there's not that much you can say about a plastic bag but yeah i just thought you might like to see them and it's always worth having a look I know there's a few people wanting to set up their storage. Uh, I mean, you don't have to use those photo boxes that I use, you know, if you've got your own shoe box or anything like that, um, or if you've got any, like, uh, toiletries boxes or, or um, chocolate boxes or whatever, if you got them for Christmas, then these would probably fit really, really well into them. So, yeah, I'm pleased with those, and it's a little bit different having the place, place to write on as well. So, pack of 100. Very good. They get a big thumbs up from me. Good price as well. Right, let's have a look in my mystery package. I'll grab my little scissors and see what we've got. So I'm not fighting with bags trying to open them. I'm just going to see them open these days. Well, I am today anyway. <laughs> you may see me struggle later on. Okay. Right, so what's in this one? We have a mirror. Oh dear, he's sadly got cracked. Oh dear. Oh no, he's flown away. That's sad. And actually, it's in a jiffy bag as well. So that's really sad that uh, it's got cracked there. But I will get in touch with them and let them know. And uh, I will let you know what they say. Um, I mean, these things happen. It could have been through the post. It could have had something heavy put on it. But that's unusual for it to have cracked. Uh, with it being in the packet albeit it could be that it's got other things in as well maybe it's got uh, you know it's gone on the tool kit or something and just got broken as it's come through but that's sad uh, so the only thing that's holding it together at the minute is the is the cover for the uh, sticky for the drills okay i mean I, I probably will just stick this together with some uh, super glue or something uh, and it is still usable once all the gems are on you just really don't notice and this one is actually a mirror so oh i've got a good chain in there as well so there's a lot in this packet possibly because everything was in the packet together it's uh, just got that little bit bent and unfortunately it's not bent that far so it does happen with acrylic sometimes that uh, things don't get a little bit cracked uh, yeah, but I will get in touch with them and just let them know what's happened. But as I say, to me, it is still usable. Uh, the price of this was $9.13, which works out to about £7.17. But as I say, it is a mirror. So once you've diamond painted him, then if you just look... Oops. Try and pick him up. If you look in the centre... There is like a round in the centre where there aren't any gems going. So try and get that without any glare, that's better. So the mirror, once it's been diamond painted and sealed, you can just pop your mirror in the middle. And I just thought, oh, I love that idea. I've got a little owl mirror, yay. So it'd look really, really cute. Actually, I've got quite a lot of owls in my craft room at the minute, so probably stay in my craft room with me. Uh, it is a proper mirror look. It uh, just has nice a nice dust cover over the top at the moment. Um, they aren't glass as such. They're like an acrylic mirror. I'm not quite sure how they do it, but they are really, really good. And again, you know, at least this hasn't got broken or anything. Uh, but that's uh, that's sad. I am uh, quite sad about that. But I do love him. Yeah, and he will be staying with me. I say. It's easily mended. I know when you buy something, uh, then you do want it to uh, be perfect. Obviously, these have been sent to me to show on my channel. Um, but as I say, I always judge a company by how it's customer service and how they rectify mistakes rather than how uh, rather than the fact that they've made a mistake. So it looks as though we've got the choice on this one, which is great. I think the last mirror I got had the choice as well. Oh, we've got some nice quality uh, little lobster claw clasps there, look. 
there they are, little tiny ones and it's a very heavy chunky chain just a a curb chain standard chain there or a link chain i think it's a link chain and you do just have your two little holes oh he hasn't got any little holes punched in him to hang him up by that's strange <laughs> oh look i'm easily confused don't be confusing me i wonder if no they're not gonna grip i suppose they would no so i wonder why that's happened i'll have to ask them about that as well because normally you would find that somewhere there's some little holes punched in can anybody else see any holes it's not just me is it there's definitely not any holes there I have got a cropper dial, which is um, like a hole punch, a craft hole punch, where I can put some little holes in myself. Or I suppose you could always use a command strip to um, put him up with and use your chain on something else. To be honest, I will probably do that. You do get your little stand as well now um, with quite a few of these mirrors. As I say, the last one I did came with one of these little stands. It just clips in. I've not sent us a sticky pad to put it on the back, but... Uh, it will just stick on the back once you've uh, done your owl and it will be covered by the gems so you're not going to see it through and then it will just stand up so yeah you'll just get your it's sliding obviously because uh, let me stand him up there see if i can get him to stand no it's just going to slide because it's a slippy surface but yeah so it will just stand up so you've got your choice of your stand or your chain but there is nowhere to put the chain through very strange okay <laughs> it does show on the picture that it's hung up as well mm. but i just thought this was so different i know there's lots of mandala ones and lots of flowers and everything of the uh, mirrors but i just thought oh this was just me just a little bit fun <laughs> So once he'll once he's done, his tummy becomes a mirror. But his standard pen boat and wax. I do think though, for like seven pounds to get a mirror that you're gonna have the fun of making yourself. Um and then you you know you've got your choice of either putting your stand on if you want to. Just use some little foam pads or again a command strip um would stick that onto the back of your owl and then you can always take it off if you don't want the stand um i think command strips give you the choice really rather than using you know really strong foam pads and then uh, they're difficult to get off but yeah he will get done hopefully during smashing the specials because i do uh, love him i was quite looking forward to him coming. i can soon mend that i can get him done and i will just uh, Put him back together again, a little bit like Humpty Dumpty. And then I can get my mirror put on. Yay! <laughs> right, let's have a look at the gems. So he is all crystal, so he's going to be a very sparkly owl with mirror in the middle as well. Ooh, do like my owls. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different gems and colours. Ooh, very nice. Okay. So we've got your standard crystal, nice and sparkly. Oh, a lovely blue crystal there, like a bluey, purpley crystal. And a honey gold crystal. And that's sort of a, a purpley grapey colour. Sorry, I've got a lot of glare today. It is uh, unfortunately dark again in the UK. Uh, we've got a palish pink. We've got a lovely bright red. We've got a hot pink, yeah. Oh, well, I can forgive everything if it's got a hot pink. <laughs> We've got then an aqua type blue and a lemony gold and a very pale purpley colour and a paler blue. And then just some other teardrops, though, they're marquees in gold. So a good choice of gems there. And it's got a hot pink. He's a little bit patchworky, isn't he, on his wings? Just looking at this with all the different colours. So it's a little bit like a patchwork owl. Just that little bit different. I wonder why we've not got the hanging bits. Hmm, strange. But as I say, I will probably put him up with a command strip anyway. Because, uh, yeah, he's going to go in my uh, craft room uh, with all my owls that I've got. So let's pop these away. Put the chain in there as well. And I'll put the little stand in with it. Will the mirror fit in there as well? No, I don't want to squash the mirror. Okay, so that's our gorgeous little owl. He's very, very cute. And then finally, 
we've got some flowers i'm really looking forward to spring and i seem to be just on a very colorful kick at the moment getting everything that's colorful and cheerful okay so this one is a 30 by 40 and it's these gorgeous butterflies in amongst these wonderful flowers and these look are they gerberas i don't know i don't think they are sunflowers are they or they could be but they look more gerberas and then we look like we've got these um hyacinth type flowers possibly or lavender actually they look a little bit lavender shaped albeit they tend to grow sort of trees rather than on the ground but very pretty and lots of butterflies around and this beautiful big butterfly in the middle and I just thought, yep, yeah, we want some nice spring bright colours uh, to brighten everywhere up at the moment. I say this is a 30 by 40. Uh, the price of it is $5.99, which works out at about £4.70. Pen, boat and wax. Standard little toolkit. Uh, let's give it a little bit of a flatten down. It's come a long way, so it's a little bit creased. It's quite uh, a softish canvas, so it will let uh, flatten down that little bit easier. I do like the ones that uh, are a little bit softer for flattening, um, but not too soft that they just sort of flop everywhere and they're difficult to work on because they start rolling off your desk. Well, maybe it's just me. <laughs> So it has 12 different gems and colours and we do have the gem codes on it as well. So we'll be able to kick this one down fully. Excellent. And let's give it a quick measure. So it will probably be the standard size, which is 13 and 3 quarter inches, 35 centimetres by 25 centimetres, 9 and 3 quarter inches. So, yeah, it will fit again in one of those lovely 30 by 40 magnetic frames. So, yeah, I need some paintings landscape style because I have got on my wall, as I say, I have got quite a few um, pictures already up the magnetic frames that I just swapped the pictures out in. Um, and the ones that are actually um, landscapes and the ones that are landscape style, I seem to have a shortage of those to replace the, the pictures that are already there. There are lots of portrait ones and I can fill those uh, over and over. But uh, yes, yeah, so I'm actually looking at landscape pictures at the minute so that I can swap them out a little bit and have a few different ones up. Right, so let's have a look at these 12 gems and see what we've got. I can just see the little owl smiling at me from over there. He's saying, thank you for taking me out of bed. <laughs> I've flown a long way. <laughs> okay, so we will start at number one. Oh, they're nice and sparkly, these. nice and clear. And we have a pale pink and a lemony gold. They're all in crystal. And a nice bright green. Oh, and like an orangey red colour. And a sea, deep sea blue. And a very, very pale lemon and a honey gold and a bronzy colour and then the standard 310 black in your acrylic gems and the semispheres in the full gold colour and then oh look lots of little teeny tiny teardrops one in the blue colour and one in the lilac colour so i'm thinking oh yes look all these flowers are all the little teeny tiny teardrops oh my goodness me they take just that little bit more doing because they're just a little bit more fiddly but they do look very very pretty once they're on they do make a really good little flower very pretty so lovely colors as well to go together so yeah definitely this is more of a summer palette i think with the gorgeous butterflies as well and i think you can see where the number 10s go look all the gold colors even a couple on the butterfly wings at the bottom so very very pretty liking this one very pretty to get done and uh, yeah smashing the specials it's definitely a special canvas okay, so we started off with our beautiful finishes of our cardinal and our little moo cow yay loving that one absolutely love it gorgeous and then we came on to some little practi very practical grip seal bags that are a very nice quality pleased with those 
We had our little owl, which sadly had had a little bit of an accident coming this way. But uh, yeah, we will let the company know and I will let you know what they say about it. But it is gorgeous. And uh, yeah, for the money, I think that's excellent. And then this beautiful butterfly with all those flowers. How gorgeous is that? All those beautiful colours. Okay, well, huge thank you, Paint Some Way, for sending me these. Um, absolutely love them, as always. If you've got any comments or questions, if you want to leave them in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to check out Paint Some Way for all those special offers. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next and see some of these completed, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, You'll be notified when any of my videos come up, so you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.